Hello, everyone. This is Exploring Energy in Everyday Life with your hosts, Rebecca Carr Share and Mary Von Olin. And we are so thankful that you've tuned in, and we are going to discuss energy psychology and the emotional freedom technique today. This is a fun uh, technique that everyone needs to know for their own mental health. And uh, we're excited to share that and dive into some of the specifics today. Mary, did you want to um, start with maybe some of the background or some of the statistics first? Sure, do a little bit of uh, all of the above. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Emotional freedom technique, well, we can hone in on that modality in particular. Yeah. Which, when we talk about energy psychology, it's a, it's a broad and growing term, um, a growing field within psychotherapy. And mm -hmm. it's actually become um, one of the most researched areas. Um, energy psychology is within the, the top 10% of researched modalities within modalities that are identified in psychotherapy, right? So there's, there's something like over 400, around 400 identified types of psychotherapy, you know, like, like cognitive behavioral therapy, DBT, all these different types. And energy psychology as a field is recognized and, and they're doing a ton of research and it's growing. So that being said, mm -hmm. Most people have heard, if they've heard of any of them, they've heard of EFT um, or that, or they call it tapping for short. So you mean that tapping thing? Yes. Right. What it is in terms of energy psychology, you're, you're combining techniques that incorporate the mind and body, incorporate what we know from, from um, thousands of years of research, <laughs> practical research, empirical data, uh, going back as far as uh, Chinese medicine, when they mapped out the meridians, the energy system in the body, mm -hmm. and how we can stimulate those, just like they do in acupuncture, which is pretty widely accepted in the mainstream hospitals today. EFT is like combining modern psychology with the principles from acupuncture and Chinese mm -hmm. medicine. So you might think of it in short as emotional acupressure, self-administered like emotional acupressure. I like it. I like the self-administered. Yes. <laughs> you can work with a practitioner and also you can do it on your own. So we'll talk about that. Yeah. Rebecca, do you know how it, how it originally started this uh, EFT where it came from? Well, here's what I know. Uh, okay. Gary Craig, who's got a background in energy psychology. Um, he, he created the emotional freedom technique. I think it was officiated in 95. And um, he did a wonderful thing. Now, in 95, I don't think the internet was, you know, even established at that point. Or it was, you know, new. The whole idea of the internet was new. So anyway, um, uh, Gary Craig made a 75-page, I think it was 75-page manual to teach people the emotional freedom technique. And from his findings, um, from his experience. And he's, it's available online today. If you go to his website, emofree.com so www.emofree.com you can get that original manual and uh, I want to point out um, something that he is the founder of the emotional freedom technique which anyone can access everyone has access to it just go to his website you can learn it yourself you can also go to an excellent website um, uh, eft.mercola.com so Dr. Mercola put out his own videos on how to do the emotional freedom technique but the thing that I want to point out is right now we have the tapping uh, summit going on it's a 10-day summit and it's free so it's fantastic so we're bringing a lot of awareness to tapping as a tool to manage emotions um, which, you know, we're kind of in a, a crisis collectively, it feels like. But at the same time, I want to point out, at the same time, it's good that millions of people are becoming aware of mental health. Because, so that's a beautiful thing. But at the same time, there's a lot of crisis going on. But anyway, um, so the Tapping Summit is not specific to EFT. And I want to just make that distinction that Gary Craig made this available to everyone and a lot of people as and you'll see he has written on his page a little note that a lot of people have done their own interpretation of EFT and it's not the original so just make that distinction but and so um, 
I just wanted to point that out. So let's talk about what is, let's talk about the practicality of EFT. Like what, what is actually happening when we're tapping? Cause it seems ridiculous <laughs> and, and overly simplified. So let's kind of like put some, okay. How do you want to, well, and, and I think starting with the history ties into that naturally because before EFT, you did a great job talking about Gary Craig. Gary Craig was actually an engineer. <laughs> and yes. so, he, he thought of a way to kind of make um, an easier way, a, a shortcut, if you will, a simple, he called it the basic recipe, mm -hmm. so that it, it was a modality that became more accessible to anyone. Right. And he kind of, you know, he used to say, try it on everything, so that you could tr really apply it to anything. It developed, he derived it out of, he studied TFT, mm -hmm. thought field therapy. TFT was developed by Roger Callahan, a PhD psychologist in the 70s, I believe, when he was studying energy, uh, energy psychology, not energy psychology, energy medicine, Chinese medicine, and learning about the different meridians, the different points along the meridians, and how they also corresponded with different emotional uh, processing and function. So he, Roger Callahan, quickly, the, the backstory is that he had a patient who I believe they call her Mary. <laughs> so Mary had an extreme phobia of water. I mean, like she was afraid to take a bath. It was really bad. Yeah. And while he was studying this, at one point he had a session with her, they weren't making progress. And he was studying all the different points and what they corresponded with. And he, re when she, he was speaking with her, he said, just think about getting in a pool or something right now. And she immediately gets nauseous. And so he suddenly had this idea, well, why don't you tap on this uh, certain endpoint for the stomach meridian? And he had to tap on a stomach meridian point, and immediately her nausea went away, and she wasn't freaked out about the water in the same way. And so he realized there was something to it. And so, uh, long story short, he put together thought field therapy, which required the practitioners to really have to have um, a much more in depth background, understanding every single point, the different organ systems, what emotions they correspond to, in addition to the psychology part. So that's pretty complicated. Yeah. Gary Craig studied this and being an engineer thought, gosh, there's gotta be a simpler way to make this more accessible. And that's where he came up with combining certain points and so that instead of in a session having to figure out which point for what, he said, okay, here's, here's this certain sequence. If you just hit on all of these, yeah. while focusing on a, on a presenting issue, chances are you're gonna clear it. You're, you're going to create a shift in, in the client and that indeed is what happened and that's why it's, it's become so widespread. And like all good things that work well, people and that are made freely accessible, other people have taken and said, okay, well how can we build on this? Or yeah. um, often it's combined with other modalities and there's all sorts of things out there now. Faster EFT, EFT matrix imprinting, there's, there's lots of offshoots. Yeah. Thank you. But the original still works great. And I wish I had the book. A client walked off with it. I need to order a new one. But it's a small little EFT manual that, that Gary Craig originally did. And now it's published. You can get it on Amazon. We'll, we'll put a link in this, nice. in this video. So, nice. So how does it actually work, you said? Right? Yeah. Yeah, how does it actually work? Okay. So the way that EFT works is you are gently tapping on spe specific meridian points, okay? Mm -hmm. Points along the meridian system where the energy flows in the body while focusing in on, it could be a traumatic event, um, it can be a physical pain, and, and so we're gonna tune into the mind-body connection because the mind and body are one, they're interconnected. And while saying something specific, tuning into the feeling, the pain, the thought, whatever it is, while tapping through a series of points, mm -hmm. Gently, simply, you might linger on each one seven to ten times, I think Gary Craig suggested. Mm -hmm. okay. While you're doing this, what, the, what, what they've found is, through research since then, what's really going on, one of the physical effects is that not only are you having emotional shift, immediately people will feel more calm, their um, emotional distress or negative feelings will go down, but we also know that if, if your psychology changes, then also something is changing physiologically. And when they've studied it, they've, they've discovered things like your cortisol levels actually decrease mm -hmm. you know, up to 50% in, in one of the, you know, one of the studies that they, that was one of the research studies they conducted. And that was, that was huge to realize that. So cortisol, Rebecca, you can, you can just touch on real quick why that's significant. Talk about cortisol for a second. Well, cortisol is a stress hormone. And when we're under, when we're in our fight or flight, um, and it creates inflammation. 
Um, but when we are in a, a stressful situation, all our, you know, we're, we're, we feel like we're being chased by a bear and our cortisol levels go up. And in which case we're, we're actually in a catabolic state where our tissues are breaking down rather than um, the, the opposite would be an anabolic state. So it tears the body down. It just, it just wears it down. Oh, you know, if it's chronic. Yeah. So it's really significant to realize that just, you know, for a few minutes, spending a few minutes gently tapping on these meridian points, mm -hmm. you know, this, this basic recipe that Gary Craig came up with will decrease your cortisol levels. Yeah. As an example. As one example. That's just one example of the physiological effects. Right. That have been studied and documented. So, so um, I want to point out that uh, EFT can be used for anything. And that the way that I would describe um, uh, the emotional body is when we're, when we're feeling chronic, uh, chronically, these negative emotions, they're not passing through our physiology the way they're supposed to. Now, I don't know if that's environmental or, you know, the way our culture works, you know, we're kind of, you know, all of us are kind of left brain. We're very, you know, structured, um, where, you know, the divine feminine is, you know, making a comeback, but, um, what, so you have these emotions that are kind of, I'll call them stuck or trapped in our physiology. And EFT is a way to get it on, get these, get this energy unstuck, so to speak, so that you can release it and feel better. Is that, is that a good way of explaining it? Absolutely. I, th I, I won't get the quote quite right, but I believe Gary Craig believed that his, his theory was that all, anytime there's a negative emotion, it creates a disruption in our body's energy field. Right. And so then it gets stuck like that. Like last week we talked on our last episode, we talked about trauma, right? right? So people have PTSD, there's this stuckness, if you will, to the way that the mind and the body um, process the trauma. And so you need to reprocess it in a healthy way and be able to shift that. And so when you do the tapping and we're stimulating all the different organ systems, you're basically, it's like helping bring, bring that energy system back into homeostasis is, is getting it all flowing and simultaneously while you're focusing on something that previously perhaps was a negative memory or event mm -hmm. emotion, your, your limbic system is getting the signal that, that everything is okay. So it's turning off that, that alarm signal. We talked about that a little bit last week. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, then you're, you're pairing this calming effect um, on your system with this information that used to be triggering and then it gets reprocessed. Right. It's all about getting that energy to flow again. Um, flowing energy is like the, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like the ideal scenario where it's not so much that we're experiencing negative emotion. It's when it's stuck, when it's trapped, when it's, you know, uh, locked in the physiology. And, and so flowing is, so it's important to, you know, when you're feeling, oh, I have a headache or I'm um, feeling anxious, that's not actually the problem so much as it is if you're feeling it chronically, if it's kind of like becomes the norm, you know? So flowing, you know, I just wanted, I feel it's important to point out that negative emotion is not bad. There's a difference. It's not bad. Okay. But when you're experiencing chronic whatever, then it's, chances are this energy is stuck and EFT is a way to let it flow again. So you can be more in the present moment and not be uh, a victim to it. So that's yeah. a great point. That reminds me of people often ask me, well, well, what does it work on or what, what have you used it for you know, personally? And what, one of the things that comes to mind is that I was able to resolve an old chronic knee issue. Mm -hmm. um, it was a physical issue that manifested and started in high school, but when I did a whole um, kind of a self <laughs> a self study on it mm -hmm. and uh, a session, a really in depth session on it, I was able to clear and and also what happens is when we calm down our system, um, when we're in a calmer state, yeah, we're able to access our intuition, we're able to think more clearly and get clarity on an issue. And mm -hmm. so when I when I did that, I had all sorts of ahas about what was what were the emotional reasons that caused the disruption in the energy system. Why did I manifest that problem in the knee to begin with? Mm -hmm. And why at other in other episodes of my life did it come up again? You know, my knee used to blow up like a balloon. Anyone that knows me a couple times, once in college, another time in my twenties, I was on crutches. And an MRI revealed there's nothing going on other than inflammation. You know, I hadn't injured anything. So that's the mind body piece. And I was able to clear that up 
and again, be able to go and shoot hoops to my, you know, uh, down the road at the park and not have my knee give out and get frustrated after, you know, the first five minutes. Years later, just through one in-depth tapping session, understanding how to utilize it myself. So that was, you know, there's an example of something chronic that you can yeah. actually resolve. And it's, it, you know, if I went to a knee specialist, they'd have no idea what to do with me. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, so um, just in, in summary and just to wrap up our talk today, um, EFT is something that we can utilize right now for just about anything that's ailing us. Not that we're saying to substitute anything else that you're doing, but this is something that you can access, that you can use in your toolbox for self-healing and to get through, um, to find relief from most things, most anything actually, it can only help. Not that it should be, like I said, a substitute, but something you can incorporate in um, your mental health toolbox, so to speak. And that doesn't, and, and I just want to reiterate that this is for physical issues as well. It's been, uh, I think, most known for post-traumatic stress uh, support, especially in um, uh, veterans. And um, it, you can, it's a, it's a tool that you can use in a wide variety, uh, array of uh, issues and uh, health conditions. Yes, um, to, to sum up the research on it in terms of um, conditions, cl clinically cl uh, conditions that have been found, uh, you know, that, that these energy psychology methods have been found effective for, like you mentioned, Rebecca, PTSD, depression, anxiety, um, food cravings and addictive behaviors, um, and pain. Pain's a big one. Yeah. Um, whole books written on EFT for pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope we've just, you know, got you interested in EFT and energy psychology. We're going to put some links below. Please comment and share this video and let's get, let's get the word out, uh, for, um, happier, healthier, uh, Americans. <laughs> this is one awesome tool that we can all learn and incorporate into our daily life. So thanks for watching. Thanks.